Think Copilot is just a question and answer bot for when you get stuck in Excel? Well, think again. In this video, I'm going to show you seven of my favorite hacks and features that you didn't know existed in Copilot. These will save you at least five hours a week. Sound good to be true? It's not. Get ready to get the most out of your Microsoft tools with Copilot. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Mike. I'm a senior finance leader, and over the last decade, I've worked in finance everywhere from brand new startups all the way to the Fortune 100. And over that time, I've helped teams save more than 50,000 hours through automation of their processes. Today, I want to help you do the same by showing you just how much you can get out of Microsoft Copilot. Most of the time when I talk to people, they think Copilot's just a nice button they can click in their Microsoft apps to get a few questions back when they're stuck, or maybe to have it summarize or rewrite an email. But there's so much more that finance and accounting professionals can get out of the software. Since Copilot is integrated with Microsoft, and since Copilot has likely the best enterprise security of all of the tools out there, it's most likely the one that you're going to have access to at work. Since you're most likely to have access to it, we should get the most out of it. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this video, step by step. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my free weekly newsletter, Finance Automation Insider. I send brand new tips, tricks, and hacks just like this every single week, and I don't want you to miss a thing. Plus, when you sign up, I'll send you a free guide to 15 five-minute finance automations that you can put to use today. Some of them will even use your new skills in Copilot. With all that out of the way, Let's get started. The first Copilot hack will actually apply to all of the rest of the hacks and is really one of the most critical things you can do. If you apply nothing else, applying this hack will seriously level up your Copilot game. What is it? Prompting effectively. You can't just toss anything into Copilot and expect to get the best responses back. To do this, I've developed what I call the Spark Framework, and the Spark Framework is an acronym to help you remember how to build an effective prompt. So we have S for set the scene. Explain to Copilot how you want it to behave or what it is you're asking for. P, provide context. Give it background on the request, terminology it may need to understand, where it should reference, and just what world is it working in. A, add background. Adding background could be adding files, it could be adding additional details, whatever you need to do to get the best possible response. R is request and output. Exactly what format do you want? Do you just want a wall of text back? Are you looking for a file? Are you looking for code? What's the output? And lastly, and honestly, from what I found most important, K, keep it going. Ask Copilot to ask you questions if it doesn't understand something. One of the biggest reasons that AI tools hallucinate or create information that isn't accurate or factual is because they're filling in gaps in context and background they didn't receive. So while it's important that you provide context and provide background and try to be all-encompassing, if there's somewhere that there's a gap and the tool needs additional information, this step allows it to ask you for the additional information instead of guessing and making up its own decision. Again, this is going to impact everything you do in Copilot, so getting your prompting right makes everything else possible. Have any questions so far? Go ahead and leave them down in the comments. I read and respond to every single one, and I'm more than happy to help. Next, this is a really easy hack. You're going to want to come up here to the top right, and you're going to want to hit this Try GPT-5 button and make sure it says GPT on. You can also make sure that it says right here you're using Copilot with GPT-5. Why is this important? Because OpenAI's 5 model is so much more impressive, especially for the kind of financial work we're doing. Version 5 gives you the ability to do deep thinking, where the AI will actually add some reasoning to the normal prompt output, and it can come up with better responses, especially as we start thinking about multi-step finance tasks. There's very few situations where you wouldn't want to or need to turn the 5 model on. It does take a little bit longer to run, so the only instances I could think of is when you really are using Copilot as kind of that basic question and answer bot. Let's say you get stuck in Excel and want to know what formula is best, the regular model will work fine. Copilot Copilot is native to Microsoft, it knows Microsoft inside and out, and you'll get a faster response. But if you're using it for any actual work automation, definitely turn ChatGPT5 on. It's going to make your outputs so much better. Next, I've got one of my favorite hacks, and it's so underutilized, it's crazy. I absolutely love this feature. If you're going to come over here, typically when you open Copilot or if you use in any of the apps, you're going to get the chat window. It looks just like ChatGPT. It's what we're all used to. But if you come over to Pages, you're going to find an incredibly powerful tool. 
What this does, it's just like Canvas if you've worked with that in ChatGPT. If you haven't, what this does is it allows you to build something with Copilot. You can make edits to it and have Copilot continue working off your edits. Compare that to a chat where you prompt, it comes back with something, all of it's fixed, you can't change it. This is an actual living, working document that you can work on. So let's go through an example of this. So I'm going to come up here, I'm going to hit a new page, and let's say that for this page we want to work on Power BI coding. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and say act as a Power BI developer. I need to build a budget dashboard. I need to be able to compare actuals versus both budget and forecast by month, output the DAX code in a way I can copy and paste, ask me any questions you need to provide the best response. Now that's just a normal chat, right? And if I would do this normal chat, it's going to come back with code and then I could ask it to make changes to the code, but I can't change anything without, you know, copying and pasting it somewhere else. So we're sending this away and now we're going to see what it generates for us. All right, it's come back with a couple of questions, exactly what we want to see. So number one, it's going to be, they are combined in one table and the date and value are called date and value. I want to compare by calendar, month and location. And number three, I would like to use a table and a bar chart. All right, let's send that away and see what we get back. Great, so Copilot's come back. Now you'll see that it's added all of our code over to the page, and I can come in and type here just like it's a Word document or a Google Sheet. I can make changes I want, I can tweak this if I need to, and then I can go back and forth with the AI tool. It will make all the changes I need to on my page. I can make changes, it can make pages. We can literally work together instead of having that kind of, I say something, chat says something, I say something, chat says something. It's a living, breathing document we can edit, and it is a game changer for things like building code for dashboards. It's a game changer for things like month end commentary, right? If I go out and I collect commentary from six different teams, I want to bring it all together and sound like it's in one voice. I can use Copilot to do that. I keep the spirit of what's been submitted to me, but it sounds like one person wrote it. And that's where pages are incredibly valuable. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I post a brand new video every single week, and I don't want you to miss a thing. While we're here, let me show you the next hack, which is the prompt gallery. And this is something that I wish every single AI tool would have. If you come down here and you see this cool button with you have the kind of text box with the little star here and hit view prompts, you're going to get the prompt gallery. So there's two things you can do here. First of all, you can look through different tasks, through different job types, through different co-pilot agents, and you can look for prompts that have already been built and load them right into your model. Alternatively, as you write prompts, you can save them and store them right here to your saved prompts. Even better, if you have a full team of people and you want to be able to share prompts with them so everyone works in the same framework, once you build a prompt, if someone else is on your same Office 365 account, you can share that prompt right with your team. So you don't have to go back and keep your library in a you know OneNote or Evernote like we used to. You can keep it all right in Copilot saved for you, and you can get some great suggestions on other things Copilot can do with your work. Now, before we move into Excel, I want to show you one more feature that's really cool in the regular chat. If you come down here to create, you're going to have all kinds of options to create images, design infographics, design posters. And I find this extremely helpful when I'm designing PowerPoint presentations. If there's complex concepts I want to convey, the infographic builder here is actually really cool. Let me just give you an example of something basic we might come across. I want to create an infographic that explains how the balance sheet and income statement are connected. From there, you can set your brand and color preferences. Uh, we'll go ahead and go, this one looks cool. We'll go to our infographic type. We'll call this comparisons. That'll be great. Size portrait sounds awesome. We'll hit create and it will do its magic and come back to us. 
And here we go. Copilot has come back with not just one, not just two, but four different examples using the colors, using the content we want. It went out and got the content. It built them. We've got four different examples of an infographic and what this could look like for this concept, how the income statement connects to the balance sheet. If you look at all this, there's certainly a few things we could tweak on here, but it did an overall pretty darn good job. And again, that's if you're explaining financial concepts to people and want to do it in an easy to understand, easy to digest way. This is a fantastic way to improve your communication to non-financial partners, even to some financial partners, and get the point across them better. And we did all of that in just seconds. What a powerful use for Copilot. So here we are in Excel, and I've got a table of all of the transactions for my point of sale system for the F9 Finance coffee shop that I want to work with. Now we'll come up here to the top right, and we're going to open the Copilot window. Now Copilot will give us some suggestions, but we're going to go ahead and say, using table transactions forecast the next three months of sales using Python. Yes, that's right. You can prompt Copilot to use Python right in Excel. We'll go ahead and hit send and we'll see what we get back. So Copilot has come back. It used a time series forecasting approach to forecast based on the transaction date column, aggregating that and then doing our forecast for us. So you can see down here, if you want to see the Python code that it generated and ran, here's all of it. It queried pandas, one of the most common Python libraries. And here is all of the Python it wrote for us to analyze our data straight in Excel. This was an example of the output. I asked it to be popped over to a new sheet. So here is your forecast based on all of this messy transaction POS data. It's been able to consolidate it down and do a forecast of 35,000 transactions over the next three months. How cool is that? You just got an entire Python forecast without leaving Excel or writing a single line of code. Okay, next, let's see how we can create a chart in Excel and then move it over to PowerPoint. So let's go ahead and say, create a visual line chart showing transactions by week for our coffee shop based on table transactions. And let's fire that away. All right, Copilot has recognized the data set, it's analyzing it, and it should be putting something together for us shortly. All right, and here's our chart. Copilot was kind enough to take all of this and put it into not only a chart, but also a pivot table, so we can work with the data and make any adjustments we need. Here you see we've got all of our different weeks of data mapped out, and now we have a visual we can use in another presentation. So now with our chart built in Excel by Copilot, I'm gonna show you our last hack for this video, which is how to use Copilot to bring data in and link it from Excel into PowerPoint, something we used to have to do manually and took up so much time. And now we can do it automatically because if something is saved in OneDrive, Copilot can work between files and between apps. So let's take a look. We'll go ahead and we'll open Copilot. And we're going to say add a new slide using the same format and bring in the transactions chart from Excel workbook. F9 Finance Coffee Shop POS. And we'll go ahead and send that away and see what we get back. And look at that, just like magic, Copilot has added a new slide using the exact same format as the rest of the presentation and it brought over the transaction chart we just created from Excel. Can you even begin to imagine how much time this can save that you can pull things into your PowerPoint or into your Excel or into your Outlook by working between apps? The possibilities are endless. And don't forget with the prompt gallery we saw earlier, Copilot will actually suggest some of these operations to you. How cool is that? If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out my video on all the ways that you can use AI to power Microsoft's Power BI. It'll work with a lot of the Copilot things you've learned in this video, plus even more. I'll put the link to that video here. Again, you can learn all about how to use Power BI powered by AI tools. I'll catch you over there. Until then, this is Mike signing off from F9 Finance. Cheers.